in this scenario in England, to get a bronze medal, I would have to have the highest net worth by 1855. To get a silver, to get a silver. Uh, Metal, I would have to have the person have that I would have to have a personal network that exceeds ten million dollars. To get a gold medal, I would have to have a personal network that exceeds twenty million dollars. In this scenario I will haul coal. That would be the main thing that I haul. And my plan uh to get my net worth above ten million dollars or to have the highest net worth by eighteen fifty five is that I will have to buy uh stocks. The way this is how it will work. Uh, if I get a bond, I will make sure that I pay it back so that the stocks will go up. And when it goes up, uh, I will sell it and buy other uh, cheaper stock and try to make a, a profit from those. At the same time, I'll be getting paid while I own the stock in the company. And the standard I will use is standard number 13. How forces of cooperation and conflict among people from the vision of con and control of Earth's surface. And the way that relates is that in England there's competition to haul coal and, and textile. And I would just try to haul the most out of all the companies. Very good. All right, so update in 1840. You start in 1835, so you have 20 years to get the to your maximum net worth. Yeah. All right. In the last five years, I made one million and seventy-three thousand dollars. And uh, I connected London to South to Southampton, and from Southampton to Portsmouth. And the way I made my one million seven hundred seven seven one million seven hundred <laughs> one million and seventy-three thousand dollars is that I brought low stock. And when I, when I bought the low stock, I, I bought uh, many bonds, I, I think about five bonds at like $500,000 a piece. And I bought a lot of stock, and as I bought uh, the stock, it seemed as if the price kept going up on the stock. And as the price kept going up, I repaid back my bonds, and that, that made my stock go down. Uh, so, I'm planning in the next five years. I'm planning to buy other stock in the other two railroad companies. So I will still be getting money uh, from their company while I'm still being paid from my company. That's it. All right. Yeah. I connect to London, so Southampton, Southampton to Portsmouth, and I lay down a double track to more cargo. All right. Stock is worth two million, right? When my purchase is power nine hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars. How's that compare to the other guys? Hit the, the right button there. Okay. I'm, I'm worth more than other guys, but their stock is still worth more than mine. Okay. Both of them. Yeah. Alright. So, worth more than about twenty three thousand. So you have to you have to catch up with them. You're, it's your st I think it's your total value, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. The company is doing uh got about a million in cash. Yeah. Negative profit right now. Got a lot of mileage. Yeah, lay down. One thousand one hundred ten miles of truck. All right. Triple A rating, not bad. My share price right now is ninety-two dollars. That's good. All right. In the last five years, I've issued about two million dollars with the bonds. I I brought like well over two hundred thousand worth worth of stock in my own company, Great Western, and. And in Liverpool, I I brought 295, about 295,000 dollars worth of stock. I haven't brought any middle stone stock.
because that's the most expensive one out here, and I didn't have enough money to buy. So in the last five years, I have actually lost a lot. I was in the millions uh, in the last five years now. I have about $265,000, and my profits are in the negative, so that means I've been uh, losing money. And some of the things that I've been transporting uh, were mainly passengers, food, and a grain. In the last five years, I, I, I brought two grain mills, one in Southampton. Let me find a few over there. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you're buying some of the businesses that are making money in your competitors' lines? Yeah. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. All right. See if you can uh, figure out factors of geography to help you be more profitable. All right. You've lost. The crown looks upon your uh, upon you with disfavor, and your railway is a catastrophe. This isn't going to look good on a resume doesn't even look good here. Maybe you should try this again. You know, seeming, you seemed a bit distracted. Do you want to keep playing? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. What happened? I lost that scenario. <laughs> I seen, I brought a lot of stock in my own company and I didn't buy stock in the other two companies. And the way the other two companies, like their strategy was that they brought they brought uh, stock in, in the other two companies, so that I guess that made a balance or something. And, and both of my trains broke down with all my cargo, and I was hauling and I was uh, hauling like six cargo back from London to Southampton, back and forth. So when those two broke down, I, I guess I lost a lot of money from that. And I, I also think that bonds, they had a negative effect on my cash and profits too. But I took a lot of bonds and I think like the rates were high. So that, yeah, you definitely lose money like that, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And I sold, I sold some stock, but I only sold about 30%. Well, like about, I still own 70, I think it was 72%. So I sold about 32% of the company. So that's how I lost. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try again though. All right.